morning. You live here? Absolutely. I'm sorry. How else do you get a key? That's a good question. There is, no, I'm not asking for that reason. I represent an uh, investor considering buying the building. Right. And so you get all these financial data, all that lies, and I try to go around. What do you want to know? Are these places well maintained? Is the thing that work inside? Uh, okay, so you don't see any major issues. No leaks in the ceilings, the toilets flush, the electricity works. Yeah. You know, one of the places we go into, they tell us they're in perfect condition. I go in and say, well, except for these six units where there's no power. And right. This one doesn't, you know. Well, it's, it's kind of old and, and a little bit run down, but the rent's cheap, so I, I don't mind. What are you paying for I've been here a couple of years, so I only pay four point five. Yeah. We're okay. going right now is four fifty. Yeah, see we I don't remember this one, but one of these that I checked in when I talked to people, they were telling me about oh, five, five twenty five, they have eight hundred dollars each unit on okay. the sheet. So I find if I just walk around and talk to people, I get far more knowledge than anything else do. So I I appreciate your time, Ed. So are you going to buy this place? Well, my client might. We're considering it. Are you going to tear it down or, or to continue I'll, working on it? I'll continue as, a, as it is. No, no, tear it down. Oh, okay. And my clients typically uh, go in and fix everything up, repaint, redo everything. I've, re I've redone my apartment um, 100%. Have you? Yeah. Well, because I, I, I need one the furniture that, that they come furnished with, you know? Yeah. I didn't like the refrigerator, and, and uh, so I brought my own in. Yeah, you don't mind? Right. I like your skateboard, dude. It's electric. I just got it. Really? I'm having problems with it, though. I'm mean, going to have to take it back. Yeah. Can I picture the layout? Yeah, go ahead. It's not a bad layout, is it? Well, no. And they're, they're all a little bit different. Yeah? I've got my plans to be in water. That's, that's a cool idea. This is not bad. Well, like I said, I've, I've redone 100% taken out all the carpet and I painted the concrete. Yeah. And then I, I've got someone helping me do the a mural on the ceiling right now. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Well, that, that's the part that's the finished mural. Okay. And then the artist that I commissioned kind of hasn't shown up in a while, so I'm, i got a friend to help me come to We're just doing it ourselves. Yeah. Man. By the way, I'm Eric. Brian Fiddler. Brian? Good to meet you. Oh, in case I really am a realtor. Okay. But, uh, let me give you my card. Ugh. What do you do, man? Uh, I work at the convention center as a teamster, but I'm, I'm in the process of starting up my own nonprofit. I, I'm on my way to a meditation which I do right now as part of the nonprofit. That's an invitation. Okay. To meditate, and uh, my car's in there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You know, when you can help other people, you make so much more. Right. That's bad, yeah. This is not a bad layout. See, yeah. I've, I've seen a lot. So if, if you, you know, can imagine with their own furniture, it's going to be a little different, you know. I've got the futon. I've, they're actually giving me a little bit of a storage space for okay. furniture from my two-bedroom apartment, you know. Yeah, but it's not a bad layout. I mean, you can live in here. Oh, I've, I've made it comfortable. I, You know, all those shelves that you see, that's that's all me. It, it, it comes with a really, not, not a real nice kitchen, you know. Yeah, but, but, I mean. There's room to work with it. Yeah. You know, I, I don't mind spending the money to get what I want. Nice. Right. Very nice. <laughs> hey, man. Thanks for your uh, letting me in, and I appreciate your uh, feedback. Like I said, I can look at financial statements for three days, right. and I go talk to about two people, and I understand what's going on. There you go. Thanks, man. Have a good day. Oh, is it fairly safe around here at night? Oh, you have to have a key. A, a key for yeah. the, the front door. Yeah. The back door unlocks automatically. Yeah. As long as those doors are kept shut, you know, uh, nobody can come in the building. How about outside around here? Would you walk around at night? I do, but then I'm, I'm a guy and I'm relatively good shape, and I I can and ward off gonna, I can ward off those people. No. <laughs> yeah, they they look for people who are weak, small, and timid. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, thank you. Mm -hmm.
hey, I'm a realtor, and I'm representing a client thinking of buying this building and be having it. And I'm trying to figure out what goes on. Every one of these buildings uh, that uh, I look at, people always say 100% occupancy rate. The rents are usually 50%. I'm a really realtor. Uh, the rents are usually 50% higher than they are. Everything's in perfect condition. Never a problem. 100% occupancy all the time, and everyone's going to sign it for a 30 year lease. Needless to say, I don't believe in any of it. So, you live here? I've only been here. Is it okay, place? I like Rich. <laughs> Good. Hey, what do you think? You know, I'm asking. Four months? Four months. Okay. It's 475 the first moved in. Yeah. We went down to 450 and then 425. No, that makes good sense. When I first moved in four years ago, they took a lot of better care of stuff. Yeah. And see, we typically buy buildings that aren't in very good condition but have good potential. And, uh, you know, that just works out well for everybody. Anything that I should know that you know of about this place? Most of you take better care of you. Yeah. Uh, they, they have my first moved in, the manager's here from 8 to 12. Yeah, they're not here now. Monday to Friday. Now it's 8 to 10, if you're looking. Not to do 9, 9.30, 9.15, you know. Yeah. But you don't got to be, I don't, no time I need to pay my rent. So I, I don't care. You know, but but just, that's how much it's changed in four years. I mean, from four hours a day to two hours a day to maybe one hour, one hour, an hour and a half, you know, some days. Does the manager live on site? What's that? Does the manager live on site? No. He owns uh, a He runs this in here in another apartment complex and casino center on the other side of Charles and there. I don't know what his name is, but he manages that one too. So he goes here and he goes down there, I think, or whatever. Okay. Well, that's what he was doing. I don't know if he still does not. It used to be him and his wife used to be here. She couldn't come down here. She wasn't feeling real good with Okay. So now if, it's you know, if you were going to buy, would you be willing to buy this place to fix it? Assuming you have Would you be willing to buy this place to fix it up? Or you think it's headed down? Or I mean, the interior is one thing. I'm not talking. We can fix that. It's the exterior and the uh, the environment of the area. Well, I like the area because when people leave the door locked, I like that part. It's a locked building. There's so much security in this neighborhood. We got the courthouse, the detention uh, center, the court, the court mayor's office right over here, the RTC cross street, got all their security guards. There's plenty of security in the area. Yeah. So I feel safe. You know, I go out there at four o'clock in the morning. I go out to the store. Because it's cooler for me. Just, me too. Just walking, don't like heat. <laughs> yeah, man. I understand. Yeah, I got the same problem. Uh, hey, man, thanks for your time. Well, just one guy killed the second floor on this side of here. Yeah. It's got three people coming off these dealing drugs or what goes on. I, I'm assuming it's something with drugs. Because there's people there night and day, young and old, and black, white, brown, whatever. They throw rocks at this window. They done bust out this window a couple of years ago. Manager said, We ain't paying for it. Now you go out and look at this cardboard. It's been that way for two guy, years now. The guy needs to be evicted. And that's what I said. I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah, that's what needs to happen. There's two or three people looking on this. Got to be a weird night. They you know, stand and holler and hey, you know, we got something in the truck. So if we clean those two or three folks out, we're going to be uh, pretty good. Yeah, because you know, I don't know a whole lot of people here because I don't go out that much. But the ones I do know, Hey man, thank you for all your information.
Come here. I know we may be breaking your rules, bro. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm not after you. Okay, I got a client. I am a realtor. I got a client thinking about uh, buying the building. I'm just walking around looking. Okay, not no bullshit. Somebody just doing a visit real quick and we just sit here waiting. Man, you can stay here as long as you want. I got no problems with you. Yeah, I like it very much. Yeah, this is hey, do you know this area at all? Yeah, I know this area. Is this pretty good area right here? Yeah, because you know the station. Yeah. So everything right here brings Okay. Because uh, my client is an investor. We typically buy buildings in bad condition, redo them, get it up to, up to speed. And this looks like a pretty decent building. You know, the thing is, I get these financial statements from the sellers. They're lies. Every time. So I walk around, spend an hour in the place, just talk to tenants. We know it's going on. Yeah. Is this that a room here? That's not a problem. That's everywhere down here. Other than that, it's pretty a secure area. Like game banging and all that going on. This over here. Okay. Yeah, because it's far as if you want a game bang, you know, they got a spot that right there. So you want to do them with that. Yeah, man. So, uh, what's this thing over here, you know? They go over here? Yeah, man. Take your time, man. You got no problems with me.